appreciate that. Thank you very much. I, uh, <laughs> I don't even, I know. We're in it together, right? That's the important thing, we're in this together, because, th I mean, even by normal Trump weeks, this was, I mean, I, so much crazy shit happened. I'm just gonna have to go through it chronologically. First off, you heard Hope Hicks was voted off the island. <laughs> And, you know, Hope Hicks, this was Trump's, you know, his work wife, his emotional companion animal, whatever she did there. <laughs> and <laughs> this has really thrown him off because she was one of the first few people he could work with. They were a very good team. She was a former model, and everything he says makes you want to throw up. So, uh, <laughs> and it's, it's very... <laughs> It's very ironic because he was very dependent on Hope Hicks and his whole presidency is about giving Hicks hope. So it was, uh, he's, but listen. She is uh, 29 years old. 29, the communications director for the president of the United States, of America. A communications director, by the way, that no one in America has ever heard speak. In Fire and Fury, he says her main job during the campaign was steaming Trump's husky boy sack suit while it was on him. She would sit in a chair in front of him and blow dry his crotch. <laughs> also on her resume, <laughs> she, she used to date Corey Lewandowski, who was Trump's campaign manager and married at the time. Then she dated Rob Porter, who had to leave the White House uh, earlier in the month in a wife-beating scandal. Uh, you know, I'm not that familiar with soap operas, but I think in the next episode, um, <laughs> Trump gets amnesia and <laughs> Mike Pence reveals he's a woman. I think that's what happened. Okay, so... Anyway, she's gone, off to pursue other opportunities. Yes, she feels she could be much more effective steaming the pants of cre <laughs> creepy old men in the private sector. <laughs> so, now the prettiest deaf mute in the West Wing is Jared. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh yes, another news from the Lancaster clan. I mean, the Lannister clan, shit, I should have gotten the HBO joke right, shouldn't I? Uh, the knives are really out for Jared Kushner. He lost his top security clearance. Uh, there's an Archie Bunker meathead thing going on with General Kelly. And oh, it turns out that every inexplicable fucked up thing that's happened in the last year is really because Jared's trying to get $1.2 billion to pay for a building he shouldn't have bought. He, really. This is all making sense now. He had meetings with two banks in the White House who gave him $500 million and his security clearance has over 100 omissions and errors on it. I can say this because my mother was Jewish. He's too stupid to be a Jew. <laughs> I, 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 really, I... 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 I, 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 I want to see his birth certificate. I do. I, I think it's going to say birthplace Alaska. Real name Jared Palin. <laughs> so, no, he is he is an Orthodox Jew, and they're already setting up a prison for him on Leavenworth. <laughs> but <laughs> but I love this. Sources say that Trump is siding with General Kelly to try to get General Kelly to help get Jared and Ivanka out of the White House. Finally, a Trump issue that real Americans can relate to. Not being able to get your grown kids out of the house. <laughs> and so, okay, Hope Hicks is gone, Rob Porter is gone. They say McMaster, the National Security Advisor, one of the adults, he's gone a few weeks left, maybe Gary Cohen, the treasurer's. Who is going to be left? Trump's gonna be all alone in the White House talking to a soccer ball with a face painted on it. <laughs> this... And you know, all this chaos makes it very difficult for the NRA to run the country. <laughs> oh, and they do. I think we saw that this week. Oh, did you see Trump at the White House with that bipartisan meeting when he freaked out Republicans 
when he suggested raising the gun age from 18 to 21 and seizing the guns of people who pose a threat? He said, this is his actual words from Donald Trump, president. I like taking the guns early. Take the guns first, go through due process second. <laughs> That's right, Republicans. Turns out there is a president who'll ignore the Constitution to come for your guns, the ones you fucking idiots voted for. <laughs> Kids. Earmuffs, kids. <laughs> okay. uh, no, but of all the most, I must say, galling things that I've ever heard him say, maybe the most revolting, you heard what he said this week, I really believe I'd have run in there <laughs> even if I didn't have a weapon. Of course, he was talking about the dressing room with the Miss Teen USA pageant, but... <laughs> Well, things are changing. You know how? Corporate America. Dick Sporting Goods is no longer selling AR-15s. Yeah! That shows how much this debate has shifted, huh? When a company says, we're not selling assault weapons and we're dicks. 